then. Uh, so, it's Good Friday and I've got the chance to get out. So for a change I thought I'd uh, fish somewhere a bit different. So I'm at um, Hazelcourt Ponds and I'm on the Specimen Lake and hopefully, hopefully I'll get one or two during the night. It was quite busy when I got down here. Um, it's not too bad now. It's some, you know, I've got a limited area where I can fish, but I think I'm fairly confident. I've, I've sprinkled a bit of bait in since I've been here. And let's just see what happens. I've also, uh, I've also had to scare a duck away that decided to pick up my free offering, so that might be a bit of a hassle later, but uh, they've moved off for now. All right then. Uh, hopefully I'll see you next time on uh, next time. Hopefully, uh, I'll see you when I go to fish on the bank. All right, then I'll see you later. Ta -da. Right then, so I've got all the rods out, and um, literally I've got the rods facing straight down into the lake like that, uh, which means that the rods are slowly sliding forward. So I've used the cheap alternative of elastic bands, stop them sliding. Um, I'm gonna see if what happens if I get a run. Right then, I'll see you later. Right then, uh, so it's about 11 o'clock now. Um, yeah, to get a fish on the bank. So I've been here, what, probably five hours. Uh, I've had two knocks, but I've kept the bait going in. So, hopefully, now that I'm going to get my head down, something will move in and, and start picking up what I've been throw, throwing out for the last five hours. Uh, only time will tell. Hmm. We had a, I think we had a pretty cold light, night last night. It was frost on the ground. Uh, that's what I've been told here. Um, it was frost here this, this morning. So, yeah, so it's a bit of an extreme. I think last week, um, <coughs> last weekend, people were out sunbathing. I took William down the beach. Um, I didn't go fishing, and then this week I get a chance to go out fishing, and we're back down to win winter temperatures. Uh, well, that's the way it goes now. But uh, yeah, I'm just hoping that I'll, someone will turn on to uh, the bait I've been throwing out for the last five hours. I sprinkled probably close to a kilo of boiliers and pellets out. Um, plus, I've tied up a load of PVA bags, so I'm ready for if I get a run during the night. Ready to put another bait out, try to get another one. But, uh, yeah, that's it for now. I think um, I'm going to get my head down and I'll, uh, I'll see you when there is a fish on the bank or it's morning. Alright then, ta da. <laughs> right, so it's uh, morning, um, it's about 9 o'clock now. I've rebated all the rods, I didn't have a, well, had a couple of knocks early on. And then the ducks moved in and just the baits I'd thrown out. They were digging away all night. Um, I think it was about half past two was the last time I chased them off. Uh, so, I haven't sprinkled any more bait out since then. But I have put them back out with fresh bags and I've uh, covered the bags in salt so that so there's nothing that the ducks can pick up anyway. Let's just hope I get something in the morning because it's uh, going to be a pretty dry run. The place is filling up pretty fast here. Um, I've never seen so many people at a fishery, but uh, as long as I get one on the bank, it'll be worth coming out. <laughs> Alright then, uh, I'll see you later. Ta -da. Right, uh, still blanking. Huh? <laughs>
Right then. So I've got a bat. <laughs> about an hour and a half, hour and 45. Um, I've done another big change. Um, it's, it's dead here at the moment. Um, there's a lot of regulars coming down here um, saying that possibly this is the worst they've ever seen the lake and it's. It seems to be the day I turn up that it, it usually fishes the worst. <laughs> so I'm a bit of a magnet for that. But uh, all, an hour and a half now to get get one fish on the bank, make it worthwhile. Um, I got a few, I got a, two or three more PVA bags tied up. I tied up last night, so I'm gonna put fresh fresh bags out and hopefully something will pick up. Hopefully, really hoping. But um, yeah. So hopefully uh, it won't be a total wasted journey. All right then. Um, I'll see you later. Ta -da. <coughs> right there. It's, um, it's pack up time. I had a bit of a, a bit of a kip, uh, and now it's time to pack up. But. Um, it started raining, so looking at the clouds, I'm going to give it about 10 15 minutes. Hopefully, the rain will pass um, and then get everything in the car. But uh, it doesn't look like I'm going to get that uh, elusive fish that I wanted. Uh, can't win them all, can you? Uh, I, I, when I got you, I thought it was pretty dead cert that I was going to get a fish, but it, it's like it's people all. All around the place, uh, blanking, and this place usually is on fire um, on a day like today. I don't know. Perhaps it's yeah. I, I, it's got to be the weather last week when you when we've gone from sort of 20, 22 degrees, twenty three degrees outside, and then having like two days where it didn't get higher than three degrees. It's uh, well, we've got summer, back into sharp cold winter. And then back into the average again. It's going to take a while for things to settle out, I think. Um, I got out, got some time on the bank. It's, uh, it's one of the main things. Um, I've got probably probably another well, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, and the rod's still out. Um, there is still a very slim chance that uh, things might turn around, but uh, I'm not feeling it. But uh, yeah, so I'm going to wind it up now. I'm going to pack things down and I'll see you next time I'm on the bank. Alright then, ta -da.